Hi guys, it's Kurt from Mercy Club USA. We're doing something a little bit different in this video, and you certainly never want to see your Sonic uh, looking like this picture. Um, but we have the opportunity to do a uh, swap of a piece of hardware, and we thought we'd show you a little bit about the internal um, pieces in the organ and what it took to swap that card out. And what card are we talking about? It is the card that provides all the various MIDI ports. Uh, and this is a shot from the back of the organ with the, you know, the back of the organ opened up. And you can see MIDI ports in and out and um, MIDI over USB. And we've talked about those a little bit. We'll probably talk about them more in the future now that we actually have MIDI in working on our Sonic. So the card we want to replace is located on the left hand side of the instrument when you're, when you're sitting on the bench. And notice when you open it up, you don't see a heck of a lot. Um, everything's covered up under these various uh, sheet metal or aluminum panels. So our next step was to remove that left hand panel and now we start to see some of the, the goodies, I'm going to call them, inside of the instrument. A little bit closer look in the card on the top. There's three of them there, but the one on the top is the one that we need to replace that has the various MIDI ports on it. We've removed the card, so it looks a little bit different now. Uh, now you can see all the way through the back. Uh, at this point, we're going to put the new card in and test everything out. Yep, that was 100% our problem. We want to uh, mention our friends at Worsi who helped us out, especially Uli for taking the time to connect via TeamViewer and help us debug the problem. At this point, we are good to go. As always, thanks for watching.